This is how you can code a weather command for a Discord.js version 14 bot, so let's go ahead and get started. Before I show you how to do this, I would like to say that if you would like to get source code from this video and other videos on my channel, you can do so by joining my channel memberships or a Discord subscription over on Discord. If you get the Super God or Custom Bot tier on YouTube, you will get access to that source code. And over on Discord, if you get the God or Custom Bot tier, you will also get access to that source code. And on both platforms, if you get the Custom Bot tier, me and my team will code you a personalized custom Discord bot. If any of this is interesting to you, go ahead and click the links in the description below to get started with this and let's go ahead and get into the video. All right, so we can start off by going over to community and we can go ahead and create weather.js. And here we can do const and we're gonna get our slash command builder. We can get our embed builder as well. And then we can do equals require and we're just gonna get discord.js. Then we can do const weather equals require. And in here, we're gonna get weather dash js. Now you are gonna have to do npm i weather js in your terminal for that to work. So just go ahead and do that now. Now we can do module.export. We can do equals and we can open this up. We're gonna do data and that is going to be new slash command builder we can go ahead and set a name and that is going to be weather then we can go ahead and say a description for our description we can say gets the weather of a given area then we can go ahead and add a string option we can do option arrow function option dot set name and that is going to be location we can go ahead and set a description and this is going to be the location to check the weather of and then we can go ahead and set required and we're going to make this true then we can do another string option so we can add a string option we're going to get option arrow function option option dot set name we can get degree type and then we can go ahead and set a description we can say select what degree type you would like then we can go ahead and add choices and we're going to get our name and that is going to be fahrenheit then we can set the, the value of that to f now it is very important that you do that right just make sure it's a capital f then we can add a comma we're going to go open this up again we can do name and this is going to be celsius we can do comma value and we're going to go ahead and set the value to capital c and then we can come out of that and we're going to go in and set required we're gonna make that true we're gonna add a comma and then we can do async executes we can get our interaction and then we can go ahead and open this up in here we're gonna do const and we can get options we can do equals interaction then we can do const location equals options dug it string and we're gonna get our location string and we can do the same thing so const degree equals options dug it string and we're gonna get our degree type just like that now we can do weights interaction dot reply and we can say content then in here we're gonna get a loading emoji you can put in whatever emoji you would like but i'm just going to input that and we can say gathering your weather data and we can do the three dots this is basically going to be like a defer reply so just go ahead and follow along here then we can actually go ahead and get the weather so we can do wait weather dot find and we can go ahead and search for it then we're going to go ahead and input our location in that search we can do comma and then we're going to get our degree type make sure it's a capital t just like that we can input our degree variable then right outside of that curly brace we can do comma async function and we're going to pass in error and we're going to pass in results and then we can go ahead and open that function up and here we're going to go ahead and set a timeout and we can go ahead and open that timeout up we can go ahead and set that timeout to 2000 so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and error handle so we can do if error i'm going to open this up we're going to go ahead and console.log that error and you don't have to do that but i'm just going to do it then we can do interaction.edit reply and we can say contents and we can go ahead and say error and then we can do a pipe and we can say because we are pulling data sometimes timeouts happen try this command again so that's basically our error handling so then we can do else and we're gonna open this up we're gonna say if result dot length is equal to zero we can go ahead and open this up we're gonna return interaction dot edit reply and we can go ahead and say content and then we can say i could not find the weather of and then we can go ahead and open up our location just like that we're gonna go ahead and say else and we can open this up we're going to get all of the different values that we're actually going to input in. So we can do const temp equals, and we're going to get result zero. And then we can do dot current. Then we can get temperature. Then we can do const type equals result. And we can do zero again. And then in here, we're going to get current dot sky text. Then we can do const name equals results. And we can go ahead and get zero. We're going to get location dot name. Then we can do const feel equals. We're going to get result zero. And then we can go ahead and current. And then we can do feels alike. And then we can do const icon equals results zero dot current and then we can get dot image url and we can get const wind equals results zero and then we can get our current then we can get our dot wind display then we can do const day equals results zero then we can do dot current dot day lastly we can get our alert so we can do const alert equals results and we're going to get zero and then we can do dot location dot alert and then we're going to do pipes and we're going to say none now keep in mind there are a ton more values you can actually get to get that just go ahead and console.log your result and it will 
it'll give you basically all of the values you could input if you would like, and then you can just pull it from that result just like I did here. So now we can make our embed. So we can do const embed equals new embed builder. We can go ahead and set a color, and that is going to be blue. We can go ahead and set a title, and in here we can say current weather of, and then we can input our name. We can go ahead and start by adding fields. So we can do add fields. We're going to get our name, and that is going to be temperature. Then we can get our value, and that is going to be temp. Now we can actually go ahead and copy this because we're not going to type it out. And so the next one we're going to get is feels like. You can do this in any order you would like, but I think this looks the best in the embed. So just do whatever you want. We're going to get feel, and then we can go ahead and do it again, and we can get weather. And then we can get our type. Next, we're going to get a current alert, and that is going to be alert. And then we can get our week day, and that is going to be our day variable. We can do wind speed and direction, and that is going to be wind. And then lastly, we're actually going to go ahead and set a thumbnail. So we can do that set thumbnail. And then in here, all we have to do is input our icon. So the last thing we have to do is we can just go ahead and edit this into our reply. So we can do interaction.edit reply and we can say content and we're going to leave an empty string and then we can do comma embeds and then we can go ahead and pass in our embed just like that. So with that, we are actually done with this command. So we can go ahead and restart the bot and test this out. Over on our Discord server, we can actually go ahead and start off by doing slash weather and we can go ahead and select this. Now we can get our location and we can select a degree type. So for our location, I'm just going to go ahead and put in really whatever I want to do. So we can do Las Vegas and then then we can do Fahrenheit or Celsius. So I'll just get Fahrenheit. We can go ahead and send it. It's going to go ahead and say gathering your weather data. And then it's going to go ahead and add it in that embed. So it's going to say current weather of Vegas. It's going to go ahead and give this image. So that is going to be whatever the weather is like there. And that's going to give us the temperature feels like temperature. It's going to give us a light rain. It's going to give us no alerts, the weekday and our wind. So we can go ahead and do this again. So this time let's do London, England. And you're going to notice you can pretty much put in whatever you would like. So like if you write L LACA, it's actually going to input Los Angeles, California for you. So here it's going to be 51 degrees and then it's going to give us all of this data as well. So we can go ahead and input something like LACA like I was talking about before. We can get Fahrenheit. It's going to go ahead and gather that data for us. Now, as you can see here, it's going to input our Los Angeles, California, and it's actually going to go ahead and take LACA and turn that into Los Angeles. Now, this one is a little bit different. So this is rainy. This is rainy. And this is like sprinkling. I think that's what it says. Uh, or it's just rain. This is light rain. So it's 57 here, as you can see there. Maybe this time we'll try to get a sunny one. So Havana, Cuba, something like that. It's something that would be sunny. So we can get a sunny image and we'll let that load. And as you can see here, it's going to go ahead and give us that sunny emoji it's gonna say it's 79 feels like 81 and it's a tuesday there so that's how you can make a weather command for your discord.js version 14 bot if this worked for you feel free to leave a like and subscribe if you actually need any help go ahead and join the server in the description below and we'll be able to help you out and just go ahead and join anyways because it's a pretty good coding community and with that i will see you guys in the next video